with, of course, Earth Summit. He's in at four to one. Now then, Lad is equal second favorite, co-second favorite at fives with General Wolf. But close behind him is Udeep at 11 to two. Blinkers back on today, that could be important. Six to one, simply dashing. Would it be three in a row for Lorcan? We'll see. Six and a half to one, Earth Summit. Nine to one, Strathroyal. Elevens and on the drift, that huge horse, Banjo. And Harwell Lad, the enigmatic character ridden by the only amateur in the race, is 16 to one. Green fences here and they charge after the first turn and Indian Tracker is back in the field today. Uh, back behind them, in fact, he's last of all in the early stages. Harwell Lad, the Whitbread Gold Cup winner going on here from Banjo in second place, two or three lengths away. He is Earth uh, in third place. Place is General Wolf followed by Northern Lad. Half a length away, then Earth Summit, three parts further back in the field, then is simply dashing, followed by U Deep. Further back on the outside is Strathroyal and Indian Tracker held up at the rear. First of 18 down the back, and the leaders sail over it. On the inside, Howell Lad by half a length of Banjo. Three lengths further back in third is Northern Lad. Followed then on the outside by General Wolf as they come to the second. On the inside, U Deep is next in the Field, followed by Earth Summit and simply dashing two lengths back in the field is Strathroyal at this stage and last of all is Indian Tracker coming towards the third and Howell Lad on the inside sails over it in the lead on the outside Banjo running second out wider General Wolf taking closer order in third there two lengths in advance of uh, Earth Summit in the center as they come to the fourth followed then by Northern Lad back in the field then as you deep traveling on the inside of simply dashing a long gap then to Strathroyal as they head now towards the first of the ditches and last of all is Indian Tracker coming to number five the ditch now and Howell Lad jumped it well Banjo took uh, uh, a big uh, lump out of the center of that but otherwise got away with it okay in third place is General Wolf wider out Northern Lad jumped it in fourth two lengths then to Earth Summit the yellow sleeves in fifth followed then by simply dashing and further back is you deep as they prepare to lead the back now just behind you deep at this stage follows uh, Indian Tracker and Strathroyal as they round the home turn and head up towards five obstacles in the home straight the first time. Howell Lad on the far side is the leader. Banjo with the blinkers in the centre is second followed then by Northern Lad in third over on the far side. General Wolf just shading him now on the near side. Yellow cap. Two lengths further back is Earth Summit followed then by on the outside simply dashing. Two lengths to you deep. Two lengths back in the field is uh, Indian Tracker and then on the outside Strathroyal as they head up now to number seven. Banjo now showing out in the centre takes it up clearly by two or three lengths as Howell Lad has dropped back very sharply and in fact he's dropped back to last something obviously amiss with him. Heading up now towards the eighth and Banjo in the centre is the leader by about a length or so to Worth Summit on the near side. Then over on the far side is Northern Lad again shaded by General Wolf on the near side. Back in the field there then as you deep followed by simply dashing Strathwell and Indian tracker and how well that has tailed off. Heading now towards this open ditch in front of the stands and Banjo the first to rise on the far side gets over it by a length and a half to General Wolf in second. Half a length or so as they come to the water is Earth Summit who's taking closer water. Behind them is simply dashing from Northern Lad and Indian Tracker. Then Strathwell behind them and you deep getting reminders is last of all and Howell Lad has been pulled up. In fact, he was uh, pulled up, pulled himself up before the ditch in front of the stands. Just getting into the course a bit as they head down the back and Banjo is the leader by a length and a half to Earth Summit in second, half a length away then General Wolf in third. One length behind them is Strath at uh, this stage Northern Lad, followed by Simply Dashing, two lengths you deep, followed back in the field uh, by at this stage Indian Tracker and then Strath Royal, heading towards number 11 now. And in the the centre. It's Earth Summit who ranges up to tackle uh, Banjo for the lead. He's being ridden along Banjo now. Behind them is General Wolf, followed by Simply Dashing, who's hard on their heels as they come to the 12th. Behind them is Northern Lad, who's starting to move into it now with keen interest, followed then by uh, Strathwell, who's taken closer order. Indian Tracker is now starting to make ground as the race starts to unfold, and Earth Summit now hits the front. Simply Dashing has dropped right out the 
the back and company with you deep. Heading down now towards five out and the leader on the far side, General Wolf, has now ranged up to uh, Earth Summit on the near side. They touch down almost together. Northern Lad coming there with renewed interest on the near side, followed then by Strath Royal as they prepare to lead the back now and come to this open ditch four out. It's Earth Summit the first to rise in the centre but shaded there by General Wolf a better jump and Northern Lad is still there. Behind them is Strath Royal being ridden along now with the whip followed by Simply Dashing who's also getting reminders as they prepare to lead the back. But here it is out in front on the far side the yellow cap of General Wolf just shading Northern Lad the near side black cap. Here comes Simply Dashing around them on the outside has found a second wind followed then by by Earth Summit who's dropped away from Indian Tracker who's still held up and further back then is Strathroyal a long gap to Banjo Udeep who have dropped right out. Coming towards three out as they straighten now it's General Wolf who's first over. From on the far side Northern Lad on the near side simply dashing. Behind them is Earth Summit followed by Indian Tracker who's now under the whip from Strathroyal but General Wolf is going great guns. He careers away coming to the second last. He's four or five links in front. General Wolf comes towards it now jumps it a little bit awkwardly sailing over it in second was Northern Lad followed then by Simply Dashing who's now under pressure and further back is Strathroyal Indian Tracker and Earth Summit Udeep has been pulled up a long gap then to Banjo coming towards the last it's General Wolf 5 in front draws towards it now and lands over it safely jumps it well a long way clear of Northern Lad giving chase followed by Simply Dashing then Strathroyal as they come up towards the elbow now the leader is General General Wolf, the jumping's all over. He's five or six in front. Now that lad coming home like a train from Strathroyal and further back is simply dashing. But General Wolf, with 100 yards left to go, is safely holding them at bay. It's General Wolf who's going to go on and win the Peter Marsh by about five lengths. Uh, Strathroyal gets up for second. Now that lad is third. A long gap then to simply dashing fourth. Followed then by Indian tracker Earth Summit has dropped right back to uh, finish a long way behind the winner. And Banjo is the last to complete the course. Udeep was pulled up. Well, the winner is number seven, a General Wolf owned by the winning line Racing Limited, uh, trained by Captain Tim Forster and ridden by Norman Williamson, who had that heavy fall earlier today, but he's come back to win the big one. Second is number nine, Strath Royal, owned by Lady Anne Bentick, trained by Owen Brennan, ridden by Martin Brennan. And third, number five, Northern Lad, owned by Jay Shaw, trained by Jenny Pittman and ridden by Dennis Leahy. General Wolf, the winner at 11 to two. Strath Royal running on to snack second place at nine to one and third there Narvin Ladd at five to